It has been a month now, since we first set sail in Italy. That also means, part of our first crew left the boat by now, Pino and Manuel had a week of rest, and we are now back underway. And there are still some things that happened, since our time in the northern Adriatic Sea. We welcomed three new crew members on board and continued our work on mapping out habitats across the Med. And there is also a new project that is slowly taking shape, but more about that in a moment. Hi everybody, I'm Katie. I'm still on board. <laughs> um, I joined last month at the start of May and I'm continuing through this month. And it's cool, this time as new crew joined, I actually know what we're doing in terms of how to run the transects and look out for invasive species. So it's been fun to get other people up to speed with that. Um, and in terms of running my own project where I've been talking to marine biologists about how they understand the work they're doing and the environment they're in. Um, it's been cool over the last month to meet different people and hear their thoughts. The next stretch, I don't think we're running into as many friends of Manuel and partners, but I've been doing my own thinking, getting in the water a lot, practicing free diving um, has been a highlight and I'm excited to continue that and just thinking about my own relationship to the ocean. By the end of her trip, Katie will have spent more than two months on board and certainly got better with her free diving skills. If you want to learn more about her project, which focuses on a more social science side of marine research, make sure to check our Instagram videos where we live streamed her presentation on board. But we also got two brand new crew members this week. They as well will be around for a while. Yeah, hi, I'm Nadi. I'm from Germany and I'm gonna stay here for one month. And yeah, I'm really, really interested in marine biology and I wanna learn something about sailing. I'm really excited about to see the seagrass uh, population around here and the invasive species and an all to see dolphins hopefully and yes to gain some new experiences here hi i'm natalie i'm also from germany i'm also gonna stay here one month and i'm a nurse and a social worker yeah i'm also interested in marine biology even though i'm like working in total at a topic but i'm also really interested about sea life and like what's going on on our earth and in our seas and how we can protect them and uh, yeah <laughs> yeah i'm also interested about the invasive species and also really interested about the plastic and microplastic uh, the seas um, yeah to see how it is and how we can maybe like do something as you might remember, microplastics are not an entirely new topic to us. In this year we do carry a plankton net in order to sample exactly those particles for the first time. And Nadine already started working on a side project of her own. Yes, I'm trying to. Um, I'm trying to set up my own project about microplastic and water samples to see the current organisms here, so plankton organisms, and also to collect some sediments, so it would be nice to see how much microplastic is in the water in different depth, so that's what I'm trying to figure out how to make it work. <laughs> Well, this month is the first time that we uh, 
spending time in the same locations that we have been in previous years. So this is really where things start to get a little bit more interesting. Because if you just run a single transect in one location, all you get is a snapshot of what the situation looks like. And now we are getting to the position where we are, well, we come to compare the previous year with this year. So I'm hoping, hoping to see that seagrass either doesn't change or it's actually growing. That would be nice. But the fear is that it's going to be on a decline. But we'll find out within the next couple of days. So if you want to find out how the situation here in the Adriatic Sea is developing for seagrass, make sure to check back in a week. Until then we will keep running transects, look for new and vanishing species, and of course, keep you up to date online.